everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and this is part two of my blind thrifted transformations challenge. Make sure you guys watch part one to see me go thrifting blindfolded and pick out the items that I'm going to transform. I know this top already fits great, but it's just not my style, so I'm going to turn it into something I'd actually wear. I'm thinking a pleated peplum top. First, I remove the scallop edge along the bottom and we'll save it for later. Next, I marked where my waist was and shortened the shirt. Take the bottom piece that was removed and cut it in half. Then open up one side on each piece so that you can attach the two together to create one long strip. Before creating pleats, make sure to hem the bottom first to make the process a lot easier. Then using the fork plating technique I shared in my Pinterest sewing hacks video, I created pleats and spaced them a half inch apart instead of sewing them right next to each other. This way it would take up less material but still give me a nice pleated look. Next, fit the pleated strip along the bottom of the shirt. My strip ran a little short so to fix that, I took in the side seams of the top to make it work. Then sew the pleats along the bottom of the shirt right sides together. Lastly, I'm going to add the scallop trim back into the shirt by sewing it along the bottom of the sleeves. First, I cleaned up the raw edges of the trim with an overlock stitch on my machine. Then, I placed the trim behind the sleeve hem and top stitched it down. And I'm finished. Here is the before and after. I love that this top is cropped because I wear a lot of high-waisted bottoms, so it pairs perfectly with them. Next up is the blue button-down dress. Like I said in part 1, I already love the design of the dress, I just need it to make it more fitted on me. To do so, first remove the sleeves so you can take in the sides of the dress. And I also remove the strap in the back as well. To take in the sides of the dress to fit me, normally I would wear it and pin it on myself, but now I can use my DIY duct tape dress form that's already in my size. Just pinch in the sides to make it fit the way you want it to and pin it in place. Then mark your new side seam. After making sure both side seams are evenly marked, you can sew on your new seam line. As I got towards the bottom of the skirt, I gradually sewed into the original seam to flare out the skirt. Go ahead and trim the extra material away, and then I shortened the back strap and sewed it back into the side seams to help cinch in and define the waist. Next, I also need to trim the shoulder and armholes so that the sleeves start at the ends of my shoulders. Then lay the sleeves next to the armhole and make them more fitted by taking in the underarm seam to match the size of the armhole. Pin the sleeves right sides together to the armhole and sew it back together.
Lastly, the dress is a little long on me, so I shortened the skirt and rehemmed the bottom. Here is the final transformation. This dress was already beautiful and I'm so happy it's now in my size. I love the new length of the skirt because it shows off my shoes more. And I'm super excited to style this dress with color blocking accessories. For now, I don't have anything that matches, but this yellow pattern making book I bought in Japan kind of does the job. The last item I'll be transforming are these white pants. When I felt these in the thrift store, I really liked how soft the fabric felt. And lucky for me, they ended up being a color I liked. My original idea was to alter these into some fitted pants for myself. But along the way, my plans changed. First, I separated all the pieces to the pants. Since I have more than enough material to work with, I skipped the seam ripping and just quickly cut them using scissors. Next, taking a pair of pants that fit me nicely, I traced the shape of the crotch seam onto the front and back pant legs and cut it out. Then sew one back leg and one front leg together along the inner leg seam and repeat the same thing to the other side. After that, face the two pant legs together and sew along the giant U-shape, which is the crotch seam. To make sure that the seams are lined up, I like to start at the middle seam and sew to one end, and then go back to the middle and sew to the other end. Once the crotch seam was sewn, I tried on the pants and that was when I decided to change my design into some flowy side slit pants. I trimmed the waistline evenly and left enough seam allowance to fold it over twice and hem. You also want to go ahead and hem the raw edges of the open sides. The closure of the pants will be a waist high in the front, so using the waistband from the original pants, I ironed out all the wrinkles and cut out two strips that are one inch wide and sewed down the open side. Make sure to leave one end open so you can turn it inside out. Using a wooden dowel, I turned the straps inside out and ironed and top stitched the edges for a crisp look. The straps will be attached to the back of the pants, so before hemming the waist, I tucked the straps underneath the seam allowance and sewed it down. Lastly, try the pants on and decide how much they're going to overlap so you know where to sew the snap buttons. Then get your hand sewing needle and sew one snap on the back inside waist and the other side of the snap on the front pants on the corner. And I'm finished! Here is the final transformation.
These pants are so cool and weren't too difficult to make. They are a little transparent and it doesn't help that the color white shows a lot more. But my trick is to wear nude underwear or Spanx underneath so you can't see anything. If the slits on the sides are too revealing for you, feel free to add some snap buttons to hold the sides together. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and shout out to Ellie for suggesting that I make this video. As usual, don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY fashion and if you want to help fund this channel and make these videos possible, you can help us by purchasing a cooler butt t-shirt. All the links will be down in my description box, so check that out and I'll see you next time. Bye!